Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am Ometa. Turn it around. Jeremiah 24 and 6. I'll keep my eye on them so that their lives are good and I'll bring them back to this land. I'll build them up, not tear them down. I'll plant them, not uproot them. And I'll give them a heart to know me, God. They'll be my people and I'll be their God. For they'll have returned to me with all their hearts, with all the abnormal things going on around us. And in us, we will cry, Lord, turn it around. I am here today to encourage you through the word and song that God can turn it around. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you that you are a God that can turn it around. You are a God that can do anything. There is no mountain high enough, no valley low enough, no river wide enough to stop you from doing what you have promised your people. God, we give you praise. We ask, oh God, that the eyes of our understanding would be enlightened, that we would understand and know what you have planned for us. God, we give you praise for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, that your word remains the same. We thank you, God, today that you have sent your word to heal the sick, to deliver those who need to be delivered, to recapture those who have been captured, and to encourage us in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I am here, I repeat, to encourage you through the word and song that God can turn it around. Last night, Pastor Lee Minister at my church, Christian Fellowship Church of God, ministered about the story of Eli and his sons. His sons were doing everything they were big and bad enough to do, and they did. They were lying with prostitutes in the temple, eating meat that wasn't theirs. What a mess was going on. 
Their father Eli was told about it and did nothing about it. Oh, he rebuked them, but did not remove them from their place. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. God in the middle of all of this, God was still seen. While Pastor Lee was teaching, he used the phrase that said, God can turn it around. Amen. That phrase resonated with me and reminded me about God's word to the Israelites. In Jeremiah, he said, I will return them to their land, that he would restore them. Israel, although was a small or is a very small, powerful nation, because the hand of the mighty God is upon them. They are advanced in high tech and biomedical advances. They are leading agricultural uh, invitations and conservation. Their land, although is half arid and desert, yet they are prosperous. They are troubled on every hand. They are under attack by the enemy who's trying to steal their land. But God made a promise that he would bring them back to their land. Somebody say, God, turn it around. In 1948, there was a battle going on for their land. And in two days, guess what God did? God turned it around. Israelites from everywhere started going back to Israel. <laughs> God can do it. How many need to turn around in their health, in your finances, in your relationships? Well, my brothers and sisters, Jesus came to show us what a turnaround looked like in the midst of our enemy. You see, the Israelites thought he was going to come and destroy Rome. But God showed them through Jesus Christ how he could turn it around and present the kingdom of God right in the face of our enemy. He healed the sick and cast out demons, rebuked fevers, called Lazarus out of the grave, and raised the dead, hallelujah, back to life. God can turn it around. Zacchaeus was a bad tax collector. But God turned him around. Saul, better known as Paul, killed in the name of the Lord. But God showed him who the Lord was and then sent him to the Gentiles to teach them what God had taught him. Somebody say, God, turn it around. Jesus took the meaning back of the Sabbath day and made it a time, amen, when they were when they were finished with the bondage of the day and showed the people the freedom in the Sabbath day. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve who can turn things around. He took the life of Joseph and gave him a testimony. The devil meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Amen. How many, how many of us can say, Paul, I was a backbiter, a liar, a prostitute. I stole from anybody I can, but now I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. God can turn it around. How many of us can say we were lost, sinking in sin, but God lifted us? How many can say, I don't want that church stuff, and now can't get enough. How many can say that I'm not giving my hard earned money to the church and now are looking for people to bless financially? God can turn it around. How many thought you were a unrighteous piece of trash and after finding Jesus, you have come to know he calls you beloved. Praise God for a turnaround God. I had a friend, Reverend Agnes Fields, who was a minister at a nearby church. I used to substitute for her evangelism class on Tuesdays, right after my class at Dundalk Community College. Her story was in the newspaper years ago in the 1900s. 
Her brother had a kidney disease and he needed a kidney. She loved her brother and was in the process to give him one of her kidneys. Somebody say, God, turn it around. She went through the workup to be the donator. She was a perfect match. When the day of surgery came and they cut her open, there to they, their surprise, they found three kidneys. <laughs> the one kidney was sitting inside her cavity, getting nourished for the day God would turn it around. One day the trump of the Lord will shill sound and the wedding feast will begin. And just like the wise brides, we will be ready for God to turn this old world around. Thank you, Pastor Lee, for the phrase that has refreshed me so I could refresh others. By the mercies of God, I, re I beseech you, my brothers and sisters, to present yourselves as living sacrifices and what and let god turn it around pharaoh pharaoh thought he could keep the israelites in bondage you thought you will always have a hold on you by the enemy you would never get married you thought cancer would take you away you thought your child would never be saved but god came and turned it around. Somebody ought to give God the turn around God some praise and sing, turn it around, cause he is up to something. Right now, this morning, he's moving. He's moving mountains. He's making ways for somebody. God loves you. And so do I. Remember, God is a turnaround God. There is nothing he cannot do. His hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God can do anything. Breakthrough is coming. He loves you. And so do I. Keep your mind on him as you go through the rest of this week. Go to church if you can. Stay focused on what he can do and not what the world can do. God has it all in his hands. Amen. Wear gloves when necessary. Wear the mask when necessary. Stay out of people's faces. Amen. God is up to something. <laughs>